Hey, my friends, I don't know who you think won the debate between me and Charles Bukowski on alcohol versus weed, but I'm pretty sure I won. Anyway, uh, I, I don't want to denigrate Bukowski too much because other than that one faulty opinion of his, I respect the man a lot. Um, you know, he was no saint. <laughs> I don't think that's, we all agree on that. But he was, uh, he had his demons, but he didn't let them consume him completely and he kept it going. And he was prolific as far as his writing and his style. So I'm going to read one today called, Where Was I? I didn't know where I came from or where I was going. I was lost. I used to sit in strange doorways for hours, not thinking, not moving, until I was asked to move. I don't mean that I was an idiot or a fool. What I mean is that I was uninterested. I didn't care if you intended to kill me. I wouldn't stop you. I was living an existence that meant nothing to me. I found places to stay, small rented rooms, bars, jails. Sleep and indifference seemed the only possibilities. All else seemed nonsense. Once I sat all night long and looked out at the Mississippi River. I don't know why. The river ran by and all I remember is that it stank. I always seemed to be on a cross country bus traveling somewhere, looking out a dirty window at nothing at all. I always knew exactly how much money I was carrying. For example, a five and two ones in my wallet and a nickel, a dime and two pennies in my right front pocket. I had no desire to speak to anybody nor to be spoken to. I was looked upon as a misfit and a freak. I ate very little food, but I was amazingly strong. Once working in a factory, the young boys, the bruisers, were trying to lift a heavy piece of machinery from the floor. They all failed. Hey, hey, try it, they laughed. I walked over, lifted it, put it down, went back to work. I gained their respect for some reason, but I didn't want it. At times, I would pull down the shades in my room and stay in bed for a week or more. I was on a strange journey, but it was meaningless. I had no ideas. I had no plan. I slept. I just slept, and I waited. I wasn't lonely. I experienced no self-pity. I was just caught up in a life in which I could find no meaning. Then I was a young man, a thousand years old. And now I am an old man waiting to be born. And that reminds me a little bit also of the line from My Back Pages by Bob Dylan. I was so much older then, I'm younger than that now.